what's up guys welcome back today we are making my famous stuffed peppers so let's get into it you're gonna need four bell peppers of your choosing some ground beef a bag of white rice some goya adobo seasoning salt and pepper paprika some garlic powder cajun seasoning this is optional onion powder really any cheese you like i did mozzarella parmesan colby jack and the taco blend just what i had left in my fridge some spaghetti sauce and mushrooms also optional so first you want to cut the tops of your peppers open and they should kind of be like little cups because you want to fill them with the meat filling and just cut the tops off like so basically hollow it out take off the part where those seeds are and just scrape all the insides out so it's nice and clean also another optional part i like to dice some onion and mix it together with the meat so just dice one third to one fourth of an onion and cut it up as small as you would like so now i'm gonna take three cups of rice to boil but i'm gonna rinse it off first and this batch of rice took me maybe like four times to wash so basically just filling it with water letting the rice soak and then keep rinsing it until it runs clear and i added about one tablespoon of butter to boil the rice in so that it doesn't stick to the pan and since i used about three cups of rice that equaled out to six cups of water and after you have dumped all of your nice and clean rice into the pan and i also like to season my rice a little bit so i added a little bit of adobo seasoning go ahead and give it a nice stir put it on like medium heat and just cover it next you want to season your ground beef with some adobo salt and pepper some cajun seasoning garlic powder onion powder go ahead and throw in your diced onions and also go ahead and crack one egg to keep the meat nice and moist and of course go ahead and add in all your cheeses some paprika to top it off and go ahead and give everything a nice thorough mix Once you're done mixing you want all the ingredients to be evenly spread around and it should look something like this so this is also optional i decided to just add in a little bit of dijon mustard and a little bit of sour cream just for added flavor and definitely keep an eye on that rice give it a nice stir to make sure it is cooking nice and even and you can always taste it just to make sure it's done and go ahead and preheat your oven to 390 degrees once the rice is done, I like to just take a little bit and mix it together with the meat. But if you can, try to let it cool off a little bit so it doesn't start cooking the meat early. I personally couldn't wait. I was starving, so that's why my rice was still piping hot when I mixed it with the meat. But try to avoid this if you can. And now we are going to start stuffing our peppers with the meat mixture. Just go ahead and take each pepper and grab a spoonful of meat and just keep stuffing it until it fills all the way to the top. And I always try to make sure I use all of the meat. I always just overstuff each pepper. And this part is easiest to do in the pan that you're gonna be baking the peppers in. I am personally using this oven safe pot that I got from Home Goods, but feel free to use an aluminum pan or a casserole dish or whatever it is that you like to bake in. Once they're all nice and stuffed they should look something like this and next you're gonna go ahead and cover the bottom of your dish with some spaghetti sauce and put some on top of your peppers also now you want to go ahead and start layering your cheeses on top of your peppers do not be shy with this part because this is my absolute favorite part Then you want to go ahead and add in the rest of your sauce, making sure you completely surround all the peppers. And go ahead and pop them in the oven and you're going to let them bake for about 35 to 45 minutes. 
And for all of my fellow mushroom lovers, go ahead and throw you some olive oil in a pan and saute those mushrooms to top off your peppers. And once the peppers are done, go ahead and grab a plate, pile some rice on top, take out a pepper, put it on the rice, and finally cut it open and see that ooey gooey goodness on the inside and top it off with some extra sauce and of course those mushrooms. If you guys enjoyed this recipe and you want to give it a try or if you just like the video go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest flowers for Leah content and if you guys tried this recipe out go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one.